Tracy Jenkins knows that her Australian Shepherd is one lucky dog. Just a year ago, Bear was facing a rather grisly situation. We started feeling like a little something on his, um, th on his salivary gland, like on his throat, the right side and it just grew pretty quickly. Like six million other dogs each year, Bear was diagnosed with cancer. Hi Bear, how are you? Unlike most, he was enrolled in a clinical trial to study a cancer drug made specifically for dogs. Dr. Cheryl London of Ohio State's Veterinary Medical Center helped test that drug, and after seeing the striking similarities between some dog and human cancers, she now runs a clinic dedicated to finding cures for both. The goal of what we do in, in dogs and cats with cancer is to try to evaluate new therapies before they make it into humans with cancer so that we can better inform the human side about what drugs might work. In fact, after seeing how well the drug Palladia worked in dogs like Bear, scientists developed an almost identical drug for use in humans, the first ever to be approved simultaneously for two different types of cancer. At Ohio State's Comprehensive Cancer Center, doctors say that could be just the beginning. As Thank dogs you. here get access to cutting-edge medicines, doctors here. learn more about how they may someday okay. help humans. We have three pharmaceutical companies right now that are having us test new drugs prior to entering the human clinical arena, and they're asking us to tell them what are the side effects, you know, what is the activity of this drug, how best can it be used. And by helping to answer those questions, dogs like Bear could be leading researchers down the right path for treating humans in the future. At Ohio State's Comprehensive Cancer Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.